Hi everyone and welcome back to the Live Online Basic Beginners course. This is episode four. Um, the last episode we talked about, you know, the Blade Template Engine, and we talked about how to, you know, go to, you know, each like linking a blade to a particular route, and all of that. And then today's episode, we're still going to talk a little bit about Blade, and then moving from, you know, just return the Blade view from your web routes. Or we'll move it down to the controller and then that's where we'll return the view and all of that. We're also going to talk about passing data to the view and, you know, showing that data on the view. Okay, let's get started. All right. Um, so this is where we were at last time. Okay. Um, I'm going to do something, guys. Uh, just a second. Okay. So I'm going to, you know, split my screen here so uh, everything will be, you know, will be easier. Okay, so uh, this is what we stopped out last week uh, in our last episode as well. Um, so I talked about, you know, moving this to a controller and you may be wondering what a controller is and, and all of that. Now in Laravel, you could do this. Surely you could, you know, return things directly from the route and all of that. But usually based off of, you know, standard practice, there's no rules that say, there's no rule that says you must follow this. But this is like, you know, SOP, standard uh, operating procedure that, you know, would usually follow. And then you probably want to pass the route or the request to a controller and then the controller will pass that request to whatever part of the app that it's needed. Okay, so this is meant to just take that the web, the PHP file is meant to register the route and then move those routes to a controller. But the controller is in charge of who gets to receive the re data from that request and you know return back to the re to the user or also if I made the request. Okay, so first off, let's create a controller. Let's create our first controller. Okay, in order for you to create a controller. I'm going to open my terminal. I did shut down uh, the app, so I'm just going to serve first. And then after seven, then we're going to create uh, a controller. Okay. So while this is seven, I'm just going to reload this to be sure. Uh, let's change this to four for now. Okay. All right, that works. So I'm going to open, I'm going to open the new terminal. And then I'm going to, in order to create a controller, this is how you create it. You say PHP Artisan make colon controller and then the name of the controller. So I want to say, uh, welcome controller, okay? I mean, like the welcome page, this is what I want to show. So we're going to call this welcome controller. Now there's no rule that says you need to pass the controller, uh, you know, term to the name of your controller, but it's usually, it makes things easier for when, especially when you're going to work with other developers or people would actually have to read your code. It makes things easier for people to recognize what file it is without having to open the file and trying to read the syntax to know what's going on there. So when you have the name attached to it, like welcome controller, it's quite easier to, to understand. Okay. And I'm just going to press enter. Now it says controller created successfully. Now, in order to find this controller, you have to go over to your app folder, and then you go to your HTTP folder, okay? Then you see the controllers folder, and then you open that, and you should see your welcome controller, okay? I'm going to open that file now, and when you open it, this is what you see, all right? Nothing too fancy, just, uh, you know, a simple uh, controller, okay? Now, I want to, I'm going to close this for now. So I want to pass this controller I want to say that whatever request comes from, you know, slash off use should go over to the controller, okay? 
and then we're going to handle or do whatever we want to do <clears throat> with that data from the control. Okay, so in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to, I'm going to take this out. And how we do that is we pass in an array, okay, like this. And then we say, welcome controller. I'm going to import that, colon, colon, class, okay, comma, and then the method, which is the, the function where I want to use. So this I'm going to say, index okay now i'm going to save this now we don't have anything called index yet just i mean we'll get to that shortly and then you may be wondering how did we do this or how this how how did we get here and all of this now this is trying to instantiate we're trying to instantiate the class or we're trying to call the class uh, which is this welcome controller we need to import that class over here and um, it's some you could as well still do this as uh, you could still do something like this. And it should still work, right? Without having to, you know, do this, without having to import this, you could, you know, type the full name space and say app HTTP. So basically, we want to say we want to go into our app folder, we want to go to our HTTP folder. We want to go to the controllers folder and then we want to put in the welcome controller. Now, if you if you know uh, at least have basic OOP understanding, this shouldn't uh, be weird. I mean, important classes shouldn't be weird for you at all. But just in case uh, you don't know that you probably need to take a basic course on you know PHP classes and you know OOP paradigm and, and all of that. Okay. So now that we have this, this is how we pass this over here. Now that we have this, we have this uh, index. Now, th this second parameter here is saying, okay, this is what I want to pass uh, to, like, I want to pass this request from here into this file. And inside this file, I want it to go to this method, okay? I want it to go to this method, all right? Now, if I were to go back to this uh, file here, the welcome controller, I'm going to create... Uh, Let's create the index method. Okay. And for now, we're just going to return. Um, let's just, okay, you know what? Let's say hello from Zuri. Okay. And I'm going to close that, save that. And basically, what we're saying here is okay, I want you to pass whatever request as a get request, of course, that is made to slash off use and then put take it to the welcome controller file and then take it to the method, right? Now, this method is where it's, this is where all the handling is going to go through, right? And then I could pass this data that I, whatever data I get from here into every other part of the application easily, okay? Not that we couldn't do that in the web.php, but I wouldn't, it's, you know, things would get really messy really fast. So you probably do not want to do this here. Yeah, you want to have things organized. Okay. So if I were to reload this, hopefully it wouldn't break anything. Now you can see we have hello from Zuri. It's that simple, right? I mean, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If we wanted to as well, you know, return the view, we can as well still return the view. And all we could do is we could say view, just like we did. And then we say view. And we have users.user, right? And save. Exactly. And we're back, we're back here. You can see. So everything is a bit like you know intercontinental. I mean, that's the beautiful thing with PHP. And you can see that uh, we have you know all of these things. Uh, they've made it easy for us to you know get things started. That's why you probably love the framework, right? Now Let's move forward. Let's say we want to pass, uh, you know, some data to this. Okay, let, let me pass a name, a greeting, something. And you know what? Uh, I, I would like to change this to let's call this user, okay, rather than office. All right. Let's call this user, okay. And I'm, I'm sure in a bit. So let's say I will. I mean, this is the welcome controller. I want to have some sort of greeting. Okay, or, or something. And I want this to, you know, greet me whatever name I pass into this URL and the guest request. So I want to pass data 
you know, down to to the to the request. So what you could do is what I could do is I could say, you know, slash user slash call it braces, and then I put username. Okay, or let's say, uh, yeah, username is fine, or let's say name. Okay. Now, when I pass this over here, what I'm literally saying is, okay, I want to pass. I'm going to pass a variable after the, you know, the user slash. I'm going to pass a variable, okay, and then this is expecting me to pass a parameter into this into this get request. Now, if I were to try to do this without passing a parameter, like, I mean, instead of doing, I, I could pass a name and say, uh, Zui. But if I were to do this without passing that uh, name, it's not going to work because this, this route is actually not matching this route. As you can see, this is having a route that says slash user and slash a name, slash something else. It has to have something else to this, okay? It's not going to match this. So this is like a different URL entirely. But if I were to pass a name, voila, you can see we're back at this. So usually the routing that you get to do here, whatever it is that you get to do, um, would usually return, like you have to be sure that you're passing the appropriate route if you get a 404, okay? So now this name we have here, we have a parameter called name here. We could type in literally anything here we could type Zuri, we could type Office, we could type David, you know, and literally anything. It would actually come to this same spot. But what if we want to, you know, show and, you know, a better message to say, hey, oh, hi, uh, welcome to Zuri, and, you know, my name, or hi, David, or hi, Zuri, welcome to Zuri, you know, how about we try something like that for fun, okay? So we know that um, in here, Okay, we we get we get the request here, and then we we get to pass the you know the request back to the view and just return the view. So how to get this parameter over here? If you know, if you looked over here, you you, you figure out that we called this name. So all we need to do, it's pretty simple, is pass in a name parameter like so. Okay. Now, when you're passing a name parameter like so, we are literally saying, or we're literally taking in whatever data, whatever name that was passed in here, and we're getting it in here. Now, for now, I'm just going to, uh, let's return name. Okay, let's see if that works. Hopefully, we didn't break anything, right? Oops. Sorry. Uh, did that work? No. Hmm. Okay, just a second. And let's see that again. Okay, now that worked. Uh, I don't think this should have worked as well. So just a second. I think there's a catch going on. Yep. Yep. There was a catch going on. Okay. So in case you don't know what cache is, cache is like, you know, whenever you make a request or you're trying to access something, instead of you, you know, whenever you make that request again over and over again, instead of it making that request, it's just as much as you're making that request, it's going to give you the stored version a temporary sort of version back to you, and that way your request is kind of, kind of faster. Okay, so if you pass in, you know, Zuri or something else in here, we get, you know, Zuri, whatever we'll pass in there, right? Good. So let's say we want to pass this down to our view. Okay, remember this is our view, and then we're going to say, hey, we want to get the name. And we're going to the syntax in Blade for you to echo uh, a variable is this. This is how you do it, okay? And then we're going to say welcome. 
workout. Let's just say workout, okay? Now, if we were to pass this, you know, just like this, and be, let's let's return this back to um, a view. And then, so let's see what happens when you do this directly. When you don't pass in the, I mean, right now we're returning the view, like, you know, but then we don't have this data exactly. We're not getting this data passed into that view. So you're going to get this sort of error, okay? So in order for us to do this, we could pass data to a view. There are several ways to do this. I'm gonna show you two. We could easily put a comma, okay? And then we'll open an array, all right? And as you can see here as well, you could see my help, my uh, code editor is giving me some, you know, uh, uh, hints about what is what this function is expected, okay? And we're going to say, I want to pass a data called name, and I want it to have the variable called, with, I, want it, I want to pass this data to it. Now, if I save this, okay, and I reload this again, you can see now we have hello, Zuri. So if we had Office, now we have a lot of use. Now, basically what we are doing here is we're passing data from the controller, okay? First off, we're getting the request. We're passing the data from the request down to the controller, and then from the controller, we're passing it down to the view, okay? And all of that. Another way we could pass data down to the view is we could use in, say, uh, with, we can use a key, uh, a method called with, okay? And then it takes, pretty much takes a key, which is name, all right? And then value, and the value is going to be name, right? Now I could save that, I would reload, and pretty much the same output, okay? Now, let's say, you know, now that we have this, we are able to pass uh, data, and all of that, but you know, you can see that we keep passing in the name, name. But what if for some reason we don't want to call this name, we want to call this user, right? We could easily say user over here, but and then all we need to do is just, you know, pass this as user instead of name. Usually you probably want to keep, you know, the same flow of name, name and user, user rather than name, user or username, you know, that kind of vibe, but then it's, it's actually quite doable, okay? As you can see, it still works, right? Pretty straightforward, right? And, and all of that. So pretty much, like, this is as simple as it gets, you know, passing data into um, uh, the, from the, con from the, re from the web, from the, from the route itself down to the controller, and from the controller down to the, you know, the blade. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about, you know, creating a simple form. We're going to create a simple form. We're going to do a post request, and we're going to pass those data from the form down to the controller, and then we're going to, you know, access that data on the controller. We're not doing anything as database connections or anything yet. And after that, we're going to talk about APIs and all of that. All right? So thank you very much, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.